Whether it's in the morning for breakfast or the afternoon for lunch, the Commons is always busy. With an inflow of students and an outflow of traffic, there's a new addition to the cafeteria that has students lining up. They're pretty similar. There are a couple of different things in the snack bar, such as ice cream and pretzels. While the lunchroom focuses on the healthier aspects of lunch, the snack bar has a variety that the students are more excited about. I think it's really nice that it came back. I think a lot of people like liked going to the snack bar, so I think it's nice that they brought it back. However, the students aren't the only ones excited for the snack bar's return. The cafeteria staff is just as thrilled for its comeback. It kind of alleviates some of the congestion. You know, sometimes um, in between lines, we're rushing to get the snacks filled. And so having the snack room open, we can fill the napkins and the silverware and help with the choice bar out in the middle. And that way the snack person can take some of that congestion away from us. While many are happy for its return, some worry that it's not quite the same as it used to be. Since the, the year before it left, it had a lot more stuff in it. As opposed to this year, it seems a lot of the uh, sweeter stuff like cookies and such have either like gotten a lot smaller or they're just gone from the snack bar. What the school may lack in calories, it makes up for in caffeine with an all-new coffee bar. Our school brings in coffee from the Parkfield Coffee House and brews it on the spot between 7 and 7.30. With these new additions, we can only hope that they don't close anytime soon. This is Caleb Seymour, signing off.